Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. I have found another free AI model and its name is Quasar Alpha and the interesting thing is that it is a stealth model. Stealth means secret model. And Open Router has published this post on their Twitter account that excited to announce our first ever stealth model Quasar Alpha. And another interesting thing is that it has 1 million context length and also it is specifically optimized for coding but general purpose as well means you can use this model for your daily task purpose beside coding and also it is available for free so if you go to open router official page there this model is present Quasar Alpha I will show you how to use this model with client or root code to generate the code and also you can use this model for your daily task purpose right now one question you can think that who is the main provider of this Quasar Alpha model is it OpenAI or is it Google or is it Microsoft okay now many people on the internet is saying that this model is published by the OpenAI so here you see that one person have found uh, this evidence the Quasar Alpha model on open router is probably from the OpenAI its tool called ID format matches OpenAI's not Google or Mistral. Here you see that uh, this tool call ID of this Quasar Alpha is this call underscores and some random numbers. And for this OpenAI, the tool call ID number is call underscore and some random number. So it is matching with this OpenAI. But for this Google, you see that their tool call ID is tool underscore zero underscore perform underscore research. But for this Mistral, uh, this uh, tool call ID for them is that IX and some random number. So Quasar Alpha tool call ID is matching with this OpenAI uh, tool call ID. So for this, uh, for this uh, evidence, uh, this person is saying that this Quasar Alpha model is actually uh, published by this OpenAI. They are currently getting the feedback or they are trying to get the feedback. Uh, from the people over the internet that how they found this model so also if you see this uh, open router Quasar Alpha there one thing is written that uh, this clocked model so this is the thing let me highlight this is a clocked model provided to the community to gather feedback it is a powerful all-purpose model and supported long context task and uh, all prompt and completions for this model are locked by the provider as well as open router okay so if they found that people are telling this model good uh, and this model has a good capability then the open ai may publish this model officially now we have a benchmark uh, comparison also here you see that this person has posted uh, this mysterious Quasar Alpha on Open Router AI scored 50% on the Azure Polygot uh, coding benchmark. And this is competitive with O3 Mini Medium, the latest DeepSeq V3. Latest DeepSeq V3 means DeepSeq version 3.1 and old 3.6 Sonnet. And uh, Quasar Alpha seems very fast. Yes, it is a blazing fast model. I have also seen it. And when I will show you, uh, then also you will experience that it has a blazing fast uh, speed okay and here you see this is the comparison uh, the, this red one is the quasar alpha and this model so if i use some uh, marker here you see that this is the o3 mini and this is the cloud 3.5 sonnet and this is the deep seek v3 uh, the new model here you see that 0324 means the version 3.1 so quasar alpha is an open source model currently but it is actually beating the other popular model this o3 mini and this cloud 3.5 sonnet these are the paid model these are the closed source model but this quasar alpha is actually it um, matching or actually nearly beating the with the same benchmark to this model okay and also it is getting the same benchmark for this deep v3 and another person over the internet you see that uh, he has commented new Quasar Alpha model still uh, launched on Open router AI is much better at following instruction than the existing model Cloud 3.5 Sonnet and Gemini Pro 2.5 and Gemini Pro 2.5. So if you have seen my previous video, here you see that 
this is the night view spot model from google that i talked in my previous video and there i have shown you that uh, this model is not officially published and google is trying to get the feedback from the people that how this model is performing so they have given the access to the lm web dev arena there you can try this model uh, but it is not officially available till now so in the same way uh, i think this open ai also gathering information from the people and uh, they are trying to get the feedback that how this model how much capability this model have okay now as this model is officially available in the open router so we can use this model in our vs code client so for that what i have to do i have given this open router uh, link in the description box so go there you will find this page and if you don't have any api key so just click on this api key option here and uh, here click on this create api key and after that here you will find this create key option click on this here give any name and click on this create api key will be created i have already created my api key so now i am going to my vs code install this extension client okay and after that open your client and here from the settings there is a plan mode and act mode also so change uh, for these two mode for this plan mode here you see uh, this is the api provider select open router provide your open router api key and after that here from this model just select this coarser alpha okay just write it coarser and you will find this draw from the drop down okay and another interesting thing is that here you see that this model supports images means if you have any idea or if you have found any uh, prototype over the internet uh, for any website then in that case uh, you can upload that prototype here and it, it will detect that also and also you see that i have already mentioned that this model is specifically optimized for coding so that's why you can use this model for your coding purpose it will give you the best output now for this video purpose i i will generate one website uh, a simple website so that uh, this video doesn't get long so this is the website here you see design a course dashboard for an online learning platform so a lesson progress tracking view with interactive elements so now if i press on this plan i got this plan that uh, clarify requirements platform type preferred text tag design style and this code feature the dashboard and uh, after that i got this wireframe sketch okay and uh, wireframe sketch so here you see the course dashboard then there is a course overview lesson progress tracker additional widgets and this lesson one lesson two lesson three upcoming assignment certificate discussion all of this area will be there so this is actually the similar the udemy platform or whatever uh, online course course platform that you have used it is actually similar to that so on the first uh, try uh, you want to see that how much it has a capability to generate the good looking website after that if i want to do any modification i can do that okay now let me go to this act mode and let me see that how much it has a capability Uh, my task got completed now if i open this uh, in my browser so here you see that uh, on this port i have uh, this here you see that this is the ui my learning platform and welcome student it is written here and it is completely uh, responsive website okay and here you see that uh, there is a course title web development 101 the instructor name overall progress here you see that currently these two course uh, got completed that's why it is showing 30 percent so here you see that this is the overall progress 30 percent but now if i um, click on the start lesson okay another interesting thing is that i have not started this chapter to css fundamental so that's why it is showing start lesson but these uh, lessons uh, this um, uh first one this first one status is completed so that's why here is it is showing that review lesson but for the second one uh, status is showing that in progress so that's why it's uh it is showing resume lesson okay so there is a three type of button 
one is the review lesson if it is completed uh, resume lesson if it is in progress and if I have not started it is saying start lesson now if I click on the start lesson yes it is resume lesson my progress yes progress increased from 30% to 40% now if I click on this resume lesson now it got completed now it got increased to 50% it is amazing guys dynamically it is getting changed uh, and I have to do some modification because uh, I have to tell it that when I will click on the start lesson uh, open another web page where add some videos or add some um, you know, lessons okay and also here you see the upcoming assignment certificates right like I, I have completed one course this uh, HTML so that's why I have this HTML basic certificate so in the same way you can generate any kind of website guys using this model so please try it on your own on your own machine and let me know uh, what is your thought how much helpful this model for you guys okay and if you are visiting this channel for the first time and if you want to get this type of videos more don't forget to subscribe this channel don't forget to like this video also guys so see you guys in the next video thanks for watching